There are two simple effects you can do with LFOs, one's vibrato and one's tremolo. Um, tremolo is pretty simple, you just take an LFO and you route it to any gain, volume, parameter in phase plan, and believe me, they're all over the place. You got one in your output, you got one at the bottom of every mixer lane, so it's really not hard to do that. With vibrato, it's kind of tricky though. See, I have a, a default sine wave that's a basic vibrato shape, and I have it routed to shift at 5%. And the range is way too wide. So there's two things you can do. You can turn it down to 1%, and it's still really, really obvious. If you want something more subtle, what you can do is you can go to the LFO window, and you can drag down towards the center. And that will decrease the range, make things a lot more subtle. Um, chances are you'll end up doing both of these in, together. Um, see, even now, it's still really noticeable. I mean, it's not that subtle. Uh, something cool, you can actually do this with dispersor. See, I have a, an LFO, and I have it going to the dispersor, and it's modulating the frequency, and this is happening. Although it's a bit more noisy, as you can tell, a bit more phasey. Just keep in mind, yeah, if you, you can do vibrato in here really easily, it's just the range, you have to keep that in mind. So again, this depth window and a low value in the modulator section.